right. It's about nine o'clock, November 28th. Just got dropped off at my favorite public hunting area for another weekend adventure. Hope we get some. set up all my crap on my back we're gonna go hit up this little creek bottom look for some fresh signs see if anything looks good down there if I'm seeing a lot of traffic surely we're gonna see a bunch of tracks somewhere and we're gonna set up on it and see what happens all right we're actually gonna walk right down through this creek bottom and look for crossings this dumps out down at the river in a row right here along skinny fields. The trail comes up from the creek. And I got this tree here. It's two o'clock. I got a pretty good spot sitting on this uh, sitting on this creek. Yes.
It's a good spot, but it's not going to work tomorrow morning. The wind's bad, so I'm going to break everything down and head back to camp. Oh yeah, that slow sizzle. Slow cooking that chunky, chunky Campbell's. Campbell's is not a sponsor, nor I received any funding from Campbell's. I am welcome to sponsors. Well, we found about three or four dumplings in this whole can anyway, so. Second thought, I don't think I need Campbell's as a sponsor. I'll find something better. Gotta gather that fond off the bottom of the pan, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That burning stuff is where all the flavor is. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. All right, socks are dry, boots are dry as are gonna get. Spots picked out for the morning. Uh, I saw a scrape this morning that was freshly opened up. Uh, Right next to it, there's a couple nice tall trees and a pin oak that was covered in leaves, so I got all kinds of good cover. Um, so I'm set for that in the morning, and I got a good view from there too, so if I see something else I like better, I can get down and move late morning. Um, melatonin is down. Outdoor alley with the hot tip, man. Earplugs for camping. Can't wait to try this out tonight, because the last couple times I was out here, the yotes were howling all night long, so... Heck yeah. All right, I'm gonna get some Z's and I'll catch you in the morning. It is 5.30, Sunday, uh, oh crap, 29th, 30th, <laughs> can't remember. Uh, we're just leaving camp. Gonna get down and get my butt in the tree. Hopefully have a good morning. <laughs>
Moscato or mocha cappuccino. I don't know. Fantastic. Well, looks like we got skunk this morning. Uh, saw Del and a fawn getting chased by a forky way over there, a quarter mile away. Uh, had a couple of yotes come under the stand, which is cool. Um, had a pheasant, cock pheasant, and a, and a hen land flying and land right under me. Couldn't get the camera out in time. And then, I don't know if they bred and took off or what, but after, five minutes after they landed here, they took off and flew back the way they came from. We're going to get down out of the tree and make a game plan for this afternoon. Home sweet home. So this morning I wake up in my quaint little tent. And uh, I got up a little late, you know, snoozed a few times. But I got up at about uh, 4.45, and as you can see right behind the tent here is this really nice kind of thick green lush area, which is actually on the other side of the ditch. I get up, fine, I'll get up, turn on my headlamp, set it on my boot to light up the tent while I get ready, and uh, this deer just starts blowing and blowing and blowing. Doesn't run away, just keeps blowing works from here just keeps working their way back 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 blowing 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 for about 10 minutes and that's how my morning went <laughs> blew a deer out when i woke up got down to where the tree was that i was going to get in this morning and as i was cutting through the corner to get into the tree uh deer got up out of its bed and went running across the field uh, and of course, I didn't have any deer come under me this morning, but I scared all the deer I was trying to kill this morning <laughs> before I got time, before I had to, before the sun was even up. bean field on end, cut bean field, and then you have this triangle shaped CRP with a creek hedgerow running through diagonal across here, and then you have a triangle shaped cut bean field on the other side here. looking for a tree to sit in. Never really found one I was happy with. And now I'm in a tree on the edge of a field. Five feet off the ground? Six feet, maybe. Uh, but I got good, good back cover behind me. So... All these trees, plus the ridge behind me, they should hide me pretty good. And I'm just looking out on this cut bean field that's got a bunch of tracks in it.
it's gone. Those four does in that buck come through, that was awesome. Nothing close, but whatever. All right, well, doesn't look like I'm filling the freezer this weekend, but I had a good time. All packed up, and now, got about a mile hike out of here. Um, not bad for hunting a whole new section of this that I've never been in before. I got skunked on a couple sets, but I saw five deer tonight, so that was cool. And uh, definitely learned some stuff about the area. Can't wait to come back. All right. Well, I'm gonna hike on out of here, and I will see you on the flip side. Oh, and it's the flip side. I know, I'm such a tool. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, this is my first video I've made like this, and uh, I had a lot of fun doing it. I had a lot of fun editing it. Um, uh, you know, people ask me what I'm doing on my crazy weekends in the woods. Well, here you go. This is a little taste of it. Um, so tell me what you think. Uh, is it too long? Is it boring? Uh, you liked it? You don't want to see a video without me shooting a deer in it? Um, you know, just uh, tell me what I can do to make this better. Um, Leave a comment, hit me up, I appreciate it. All right, thanks.